Hi there everybody, it's Jamie here, aka Mr. Fit Geek. Thanks for tuning into this video today. This is the sound editing tutorial for iMovie for iOS. So without further ado, let's open iMovie. So as you can see here, this is iMovie for the iPads. Now iMovie for the iPhone is exactly the same as it's both the iOS versions. So, but using the iPad here, it makes it a lot easier to demonstrate this. But basically all the principles and all the buttons and everything I'm doing here will also work on the iPhone version itself. So today what I want to do is concentrate on how you can edit the audio on videos that you are editing within iMovie. So some really simple but effective ways in which to do this in iMovie. So what you need to do is you need to first go into Create Project and then you have two options here, Movie or Trailer. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go into Movie because this is where you edit the existing movie that you've created and you want to edit here. So what you will do is when you go in, you will see a selection of all of your films and photos that you have available to you. So I'm going to go, go ahead and pick the very first one at the top here. This is the latest video that I want to insert. But where you'll see on the left hand side, you have moments, video, photos and albums. If you know where your file is located, just simply select it from any of those folders there. So here we go. I'm going to select the first one here. It's going to select that option. And then at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to do create movie. So what this will do is this will load in the video. And as you can see, this is of my cat, William, shot here in our garden. And this is him of him chasing the end of the washing line. But so what I want to do is, is, is directly edit just the audio from this video here and show you how to edit audio specifically and also how you can add elements of audio into your clip. So first of all, let's give this a quick play and this will have uh, William running around and he is basically chasing after the end of the washing line here. It's a game he loves to play. But in the background, we have audio that is from the background and there's birds singing, there's the sound of trees and, and kids playing in the background and other gardens. But what we need to do is simply click on the video in the timeline here and what this will do is it will color it yellow give it a yellow border and then you will see immediately at the bottom you are greeted with five separate options of as to editing options within your video what we want to do is first of all click where it says detach audio so what this does is when you detach the audio this will then bring up a separate timeline in the bar here so what that's done is it's effectively removed the audio from the clip and allows you to edit that on a separate basis so now you will see that where you have this blue line, and you can just use your finger to scroll back and forth, you can select the audio at any time and you'll know what part you've selected because it will have this yellow buffer here. So you can do various things, like for example, if you want to move your audio and put it in a different part of a video, you can add, um, you can simply hold your finger on it there and drag it to a different point. Um, along the video timeline here. So if you know you want to add it to a certain point in the video, you can do so. So one of the first simple things that you can do is if you want to adjust the volume, so simply select the volume you've got here and it will always sit at 100%. So this will play the volume at 100% of the volume of what you've recorded. Say for example though you want it much lower, you can simply slide the slider down, but actually it does allow you to go up to a whopping 500%. So if you really want to increase the volume of your clip, say if it was somewhere that was quite quiet or who the subject you've recorded is quite quiet, you can really bolster the volume of that clip there. We want to leave it 100% though. Uh, maybe just leave it 102. How's that sound? There we go. Now, one of the other great options that you can do here is you might not want your audio to start immediately. You actually might want to fade in. And this is a really great thing that you can do here. So if you select fade, what you will see here is you will see a yellow arrow. You'll have one of these at the beginning and one of these at the end of your audio. Let's just worry about the one at the beginning here. Simply grab, grab that arrow, drag it to wherever you want that to stop. And then what you'll see is with this blue gradient that comes in here, that is effectively going to play your audio, but slowly fade it in up to your required volume level. You can then adjust this again at any point if you want it to fade in quicker or fade in slower. Uh, and it's completely your choice then. And what you can also do is let's go to the end of our video timeline here. And then the same thing. You can also have one right at the end if you want to then fade out. Okay. So that's how you can adjust the volume in a basic way uh, on your existing volume. Now, one thing that you also might want to do is add audio you might wish to add a music or a soundtrack or some sound effects so on the top right hand side you will see a plus icon if you click on the plus icon there you have two options you have media 
and you have audio. So if you simply select the audio option, what this does, this gives you all the different options that are available to you. You have theme music, sound effects, and then you have playlists, album, artists, and songs. Now this is if you wish to add music or any audio content that is stored on your iPhone or your iPad that you want to have as part of your video. Now obviously with this, if you have songs from artists and bands and copyright material, you need to be careful because if you're utilizing this on a video which you're going to put on YouTube, you obviously need to get permission to do so. I think for home movies and stuff you're just playing with your friends and family, that's different. However, where you have theme music and sound effects, these are built into the app itself and these can be part of what you're creating and you are allowed to obviously use these for your personal use as copyright has been signed off. So what I'd actually like to do is do two things. I'd like to add some theme music. So you've got various options here that are preset within the app itself. So what I think is I'm going to add playful. So you can you can select the clip there to listen to um, listen to a clip of it. I'm going to use that, so I'm going to drop that right into my timeline. And then what you'll see, you'll see it added another bar in here, different colour. So you've got playful, and then the same thing. If you wish to then adjust the volume, you can do so. So I'm going to have it at 50%, but also I want to fade this in. So I want to fade it in, drag up the uh, the arrow there, click trim, and then that's added it in for me. And then the other thing I would like to do is add a sound effect. So here we go, I go to audio, go back on audio, click on sound effect, and then what you'll see is there's a whole raft of sound effects you can choose from that you might wish to put into video. So here we go, let's select thunder, just do use, that's going to add that in for me. Now what you'll see is it's, it's where I had the um, the timeline stopper here, that's where it's added in the thunder. So if I'd have had it at the beginning, it would have dropped it in the beginning. I actually am happy for it to be there. So I'm I'm happy for that. But at any point, you can pop your finger on it, it will highlight it, and you can drag it wherever you wish to pop that. I don't want to fade this at all. But again, if I did, I can just highlight it, click fade, adjust the arrow, and I'm good to go. So I've put that in there. So now what I have here are three separate elements to my video. I have my, my soundtrack that's part of the video, I have a sound effect in which I've added, and I've added a music track, and they're all played in together. And then I would just simply play the video, and then those elements would be played back as part of the playback on the video. So hopefully you found that, uh, ho hopefully, that was meant to say hopefully you found this helpful. Um, so some simple tips and tricks on how to edit your audio within iMovie for iOS. Any questions or comments, pop them down in the box below. If you found this useful, please do drop it a like. And of course, if you want to see more of this stuff, then do subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Over and out from me and William. Thanks very much. Take care.